On the 6th of August 2012, 10 members of the Kayali family, seven of them children, were killed in their homes in the city of Aleppo. There were no survivors of the attack, which according to neighbors, literally pulverized the buildings to dust. Syria's air force has a huge supply of high explosive airdropped bombs, nearly all of which are unguided. A common and deadly weapon is the OFAB bomb, which has a thick metal body designed to increase its fragmentation effects. They are the classic dumb bombs. Syria's fighter jets are dropping these into towns and villages from enormous heights, as great as 15 kilometers above the ground, and with no control over them once they're dropped. They travel at speeds of over a thousand kilometers an hour to the ground below, where families like the Kayalis have been the victims over and over again. AOAV's principal concern with explosive weapons is the number of civilian casualties that result. And so we see in populated areas very high numbers of civilians being killed, um, probably somewhere in the region of 80% or thereabouts. So we recognize that states are going to continue to use explosive weapons. But AOEV's point on this is that conventional explosive weapons must not be used where civilian populations are at risk and improvised explosive weapons similarly must not be used where civilians are at risk.